welcome to another exciting session of Cricket Quiz with Edupedia World. We are back with 10 questions and tons of information on cricket, your favorite sports. So let's go straight away to the questions. And here we have our first question for the day. Who is the first to score three centuries in the first three innings as a test captain? Your options are A. Brian Lara B. Ricky Ponting C. Virat Kohli or D. Kumar Sangakara As usual, you have five seconds to answer. Your time starts now. Well, the answer is Virat Kohli. Well, Virat is going through a magnificent phase and he celebrated his rise to India's test captaincy by hitting his fourth century of the series in the fourth and the final test against Australia in Sydney in January 2015 with his scintillating knock of 140 at the Sydney Cricket Ground and his twin turns at Adelaide. In the first test, the Delhi Lab became the first test skipper in cricket history to score three hundreds in his first three innings as a captain. For the first test of Australian tour in December 2014, Dhoni was not part of the Indian team at Adelaide due to an injury and Kohli took the reins as captain for the first time. Kohli scored 115 in India's first innings, becoming the fourth Indian to score 100 on test captaincy debut. In their second innings, India was set a target of 364 to be scored on the fifth day. Kohli came into bat when the Indian innings were reduced to 57 for 2 and started batting aggressively. He put on 185 runs for the third wicket with Murli Vijay before he was dismissed, which triggered a batting collapse. And from 242 for 2, India were bowled out for 315 with Kohli's 141 of 175 balls being the top score. This was Kohli's second turn as the captain and it was hailed by the Australian commentators as the finest fourth inning performance, the last day performance they had ever seen in Australia. Tony returned to the team as captain for the second and the third match at Brisbane and Melbourne respectively. Tony announced his retirement from test cricket at the conclusion of the third match and Kohli was appointed as the full-time test captain ahead of the fourth test at Sydney. Captaining the test team for the second time, Kohli hit 147 in the first innings of the match and became the first batsman in test cricket history to score 300s in his first three innings as captain. And this is not all. Kohli is on the move. And he's making records after records. We'll have some more questions on him. For now, let's move on to the second question of the day. Who is the first international cricketer to score a century in ODI cricket? Your options are A. Clive Lloyd B. Dennis Amis C. Glenn Turner or D. Alan Turner The answer is Dennis Amis. Dennis Amis scored a century against Australia in 1972 in the second official ODI on record at the Old Trafford. And do you know he is also the first player in ODI to score a century on both his debut and his last match, the only other being Desmond Haynes. On 7th June 1975 at Lords in the first match of the Prudential World Cup, which was also the very first Cricket World Cup, Amis smashed 137 runs in just 147 balls against India, powered by 18 boundaries. His innings provided enough leverage for England to post a very imposing and improbable target of 335 runs for India to be chased down within a span of 60 overs. It was also the first time that a team would score 300 or more runs in an ODI match. The match also featured the infamous and notorious ODI innings of Sunil Gavaskar, who, in reply to the nearly unreachable target set by England, scored an unbeaten 36 runs in 174 balls. 
So Gavaskar, who came as opener, played all the 60 overs till the end, remained unbeaten and scored 36 runs with just one boundary to adorn his innings. Stories apart, let's move on to the next question for the day and that is, who is the first batsman to score double centuries in four consecutive test series? Your options are Ricky Ponting, Don Bradman, Rahul Dravid, or Virat Kohli. And friends, the answer is Virat Kohli. Kohli has scored six double centuries with the highest being 243 against Sri Lanka in the recently concluded match at Ferocia Kotla in New Delhi. To know more about his records of double century, refer to our previous quiz. And for now, let's move on to the next question for the day. Which domestic cricket tournament started in 1934? continues even today as the backbone of Indian cricket. Your options are A. Ranji Trophy B. Dulip Trophy C. Deodhar Trophy or D. Irani Trophy And friends, the answer is A. Ranji Trophy. Ranji Trophy which started in the memory of Kumar Sri Ranjit Singh Ji was donated by Maharaja Bhupendra Singh of Patiala and the first match was played between Madras and Mysore and the tournament was held on the 4th of November 1934. The final was played between Bombay and Northern India and Bombay went on to become the first Ranji champion in the year 1934. Alright, so fifth question for the day, here we have. Who is the first captain to smash 10 international centuries in a calendar year? And your options are A. Virat Kohli B. Ricky Ponting C. Brian Lara and D. Green Smith An answer, friends, once again is Virat Kohli, most adorable cricketer of our time. Kohli is on roll and he scored 11 tests and he has scored 11 centuries in the year 2017 alone as a captain. Five in test matches and six in ODI. And overall, he has scored 52 centuries till now, with 20 coming in test, including six double centuries and 32 in ODI. As a captain, he has scored 13 test centuries and 10 ODI centuries seems to be master of centuries we wish him all the best and i'm sure in the years to come he can achieve much greater feat than any of the players of his league we wish him all the best once again and move on to the next question for the day who is the first cricketer to score a century in t20 international your options are a suresh Raina, b brendan mcculloch c chris gale or D. Mahila Jaiwardhan. Well, friends, the answer is Chris Gale. And he scored 117 against South Africa at Johannesburg. And this came in the first match of the inaugural ICC T20 World Cup in the year 2007. Moving on to the next question, here we have. Who has not scored a century in all the three formats of the game? And your options are A. K. L. Rahul, M. S. Dhoni, Suresh Raina, or Rohit Sharma. Well, friends, the answer is M. S. Dhoni. Mahendra Singh Dhoni has not scored a century in T20 till now, whereas all the other three players have scored a century in T20 and in all the other formats. And till now, only three players have scored a century in a T20 for India. We wish all the best to Dhoni and we hope he scores one before retiring. All right, so let's move on to the eighth question for the day. Who is the first to score a double century in the ODI World Cup? Your options are 
A. Martin Guptal B. Sachin Tendulkar C. Virendra Sehwag or D. Chris Gale And the answer is D. Chris Gale Well, we know that all the four have scored a double century in ODI and in addition, Rohit Sharma has scored two double centuries in ODI. But in an ODI World Cup, there are only two players, Martin Guptal and Chris Gale. And both of these came in the year 2015. Chris Gale was the first to score 215 against Zimbabwe at Canberra on 24th February 2015. Later on, Martin Guptal scored 237 not out against West Indies at Wellington on the 22nd of March 2015. Well, moving ahead to the penultimate question for the day. Here we have, who is the first woman to score a double century in an ODI? And your options are A. Harman Preet Kaur, B. Belinda Clark, C. Meg Lannings, or D. Chamari Atapattu. Well, friends, the answer is Belinda Clark. And she scored the first ever double century in ODI. Belinda Clark of Australia scored 229 not out against Denmark on 16th of December 1997 and became the first person to ever score a double century in the men's and women's variant of limited over internationals. And this came in the Women's Cricket World Cup at Mumbai. So Belinda Clark achieved what men cricketers could not way back in the year 1997 itself. And for men, it was much later when Master Blaster scored 200 not out. All right, so for now, let's move on to the last question for this quiz series. And that is, which Indian cricketer has been out for a duck maximum number of times in ODIs? Your options are, a. Zaheer Khan B. Yuvraj Singh C. Ajit Agarkar and D. Sachin Tendulkar And the answer, friends, is D. Sachin Tendulkar Well, Tendulkar was out on a duck for 20 times in limited overs. The world record is held by Sanat Jaisuriya who's been out for a duck 34 times. As far as the test matches are concerned, it's Zaheer Khan who was out 29 times for India. Overall, also, it's Zaheer Khan who was out for a duck 44 times. The world record overall is held by Muttaya Murli Dharan, who was out 59 times for a duck in ODI and test combined. And do you know that Sachin was out for a duck on his debut as well in the year 1992 against Pakistan? But we salute this master blaster. He rose from there and went on to become all-time best batsman. Well, that's all we have, friends, in this quiz. We'll be back with more exciting questions on different topics. Do suggest us the topics you want us to take up. And keep watching our videos. Bye-bye.